plant fam welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is jacqueline this is david this, this is, is my it is my jungle today I never yes get to say that. today is thursday january 12th 13th close enough okay <laughs> it's thursday <laughs> whatever day that is so i wanted to start a january vlog because um there's, there's stuff happening there's a lot going on in here. We're in the process yeah. right now of cleaning, like, my Hoya shelf out and everything. And I figured I would kind of document some of the process with you guys since you've been wanting to do, like, desperately do these plant tours with me for some godforsaken reason. Like, Why? I get, no, I get it. Because y'all like to do your <laughs> chores with me. It motivates you to do yours. And, like, honestly, filming it motivates me to do mine too so like it, it's it works you're like a plant chore coach you'd be like do your chores us. people it's yeah, time it works for both of us. i'm doing my chores so um i need to wash my hair i'm looking like water those plants a hot mess like my part's not even like what are you doing girl anyway so i did want to open this though you know open it since i only have two hands just don't show my address on the other side so i ordered trellises off of Etsy <laughs> and they are 3D printed and I ordered Ooh. one for him. Stop it right now. So this is a no face what? trellis. I think they're just acrylic, right? No. What are these made out of? You they're did not yeah, this looks like are they 3D printed? Yeah, these look 3D printed. 3D printed. You did not just do this. I did. This I got is, a Totoro. Freaking amazing. They were only like eight dollars each to it. <gasps> and then I got the soot sprites. Well, you, had another, you had two Totoros. I do? Yeah, there's two Totoro. Oh, she sent me two? Yeah. That yeah. was nice. I only ordered one. Double Totoro. Super sweet. I asked her if it was okay for me to unbox. I like to, like, let people know. This like, is... is it okay if I share your products? This These are so cute. Oh, my gosh. She so sent you two. freaking cool. So I ordered the Avatar Stop ones. Stop it. For him as well. I wanted to get your reaction. Uh. This These is so yours. freaking cool. Yeah, no. I mean, they're, I don't know if they'll really do much. They're more of like a plant stake no, if you need to like to hold them. something up. But it's more like thing. decorative. It's good. It could be like a hair stick. You could These just... are so cute. Like, I don't yeah. think this is actually going to like, maybe you could put a Hoya around here. You go in there and you yes. can make, match the leaf. You could just oh, have a girl on the leaf. That is pretty awesome. Super cute. I think the These sprites are, are my favorite though. <laughs> they're <laughs> so cute. Yeah, that's really cool. So, was there a packing slip with the shop name? Because I forget. Mm, plant print shops. Plant print shops. Yeah. It just helps me later so that I can remember. And then the, the Etsy is right there. So, that was really nice of her to add in the extras. This one's actually more like the most functional probably as a trellis because you can wrap. Probably, yeah. A Hoya really cool. around. Yeah, I'm excited to see them in my plants. So, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm a big um, Totoro fan and obviously just like Studio Ghibli fan <laughs> and Avatar. She's got some cute stuff up there. Really inexpensive, again, because they're 3D printed. So yeah, yeah, yeah. These are right. take These that with a grain, a grain of salt. You know, they're going to be as strong as you think they are if you're gonna have these little thin pieces they're gonna be right. flimsy you can see like they'll they'll bend a little bit but they don't snap they're they're bendy no but like, you yeah. get what you pay for in that sense yeah so no this is fantastic <laughs> so cute oh my god i can't wait to put this one is my favorite i can't wait to put this in <laughs> one of my really plants good. i'm like which one can i put it in a philodendron needs some help we only have 400 to choose from yeah <laughs> anyway i'm gonna get back to some plant chores and i'll try and remember to like film some of this sorry you're not in the frame that's okay i'll try to remember to film some of this when um while we're doing it i'm really tired thank you oh and i bought him this shirt for christmas it says cthulhu loops and it's got a cthulhu eating cereal and he's got loops. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'm going to go for right now and I will give you guys a little overview of some of like my mm. Hoyas. I've been using a new uh, like pest control, I guess you can call it, mm. stuff that I've been wanting to show you guys and kind of like review at the same time. So maybe we'll do that in this vlog as well. But for now, I'm going to go. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So look, maybe it's not a professional shelf. 
No. But it's not going to be, and I don't have the time to drill through metal and measure it out and take everything off of here and bring no, it into I a don't... garage or a shop. Nobody sees it down here anyway. Yeah, exactly. So it's serving a functional purpose. But... So basically we're trying to lower this because my Mars Hydro up here is really bright. So I was hoping that if we drop the shelf down a little bit that mm. it would help. Maybe. Right. If not, then we're going to have to replace the light. So... Yeah. How did you do this? So what I did is I cut the dowels and then I taped them to the side here and then had one going across. Right, right? with our fancy tape. With the fancy tape. Um, it's black, it blends in. And then... It blends in with the wood perfectly. And then two of these sitting across. Right. And plexiglass on that. Yes. So that way the light goes through and everybody's So my happy. only concern was... I was wondering if this would still be able to fit on the bottom shelf. How tall is that? No. No. Okay. The answer is just no. <laughs> I got this for $5 at Target, though. It's cute. It's cute. So, we'll figure out what to do with it. We'll put it somewhere. Yeah. We'll work. Maybe over there. I don't know. Everything's Jank a mess janky. right now because these are all my propagation containers. Some dead plants. It's fine. More propagations on my cat tree. Okay, you paused good. at a weird moment and you said there's my propagations cat. on my cat. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think Crash would like that. So, really. yeah. We're going to lower this down. And I ideally would like to just have all Hoyas over here, but I do still have my cacti over here. So we're going to do our best to try and like reorganize this a little bit. You'll be busy. Yeah. This is... The situation in here. So this is everything that was on the shelf, basically, as well as I have two terrariums like this, and then all my cacti and stuff were like underneath. So I'm gonna give these all a good spray down, and some of them just need to straight up be repotted. So we might as well do that too while we're at it. Maybe I can figure out a way to set up because I have room on my floor now though. I could put the repotting mat on my floor and we can film repotting in my bedroom. It might work. My hair got long already. All right, anyway, I'm getting distracted. Jesus, please. I also have like a crap ton of Hoyas in here in like plastic bags and like in this container is all Hoyas, so I want to take them out of here because this is not an ideal... Well, they're just not getting enough light in here, really, so... I could take some of them out and be able to, like, move them onto the shelves and stuff. That would be ideal. I love the way this terrarium looks. Look at how pretty. It's so cute. Those Hoyas are in there. Oh my god, so cute. So cute. <laughs> so... Yeah, I guess whatever cac whatever cacti don't fit are going to have to go to your place, Chief. Fantastic. At least I know you're not going to kill them. I'm not going to touch them. You don't have to. That's perfect. Find a boyfriend who will take your plants that you don't have room for anymore. <laughs> so you can keep buying new ones. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm also going to no, no, get no, no. a taller greenhouse. It's not how that works, Chief. It is how it works. I'm getting a taller greenhouse, too. So we kind of wanted to see what the Sansi would look like in there now. I look like hot fucking like I can't even believe that I'm filming right now I wanted to see this one this one hangs really low but it's not as strong as that one it's really low uh, which one? Oh, yeah. do you think that one would look I gotta turn the camera around no. that's a bad angle I'm like down here I'm like hey, you guys think this looks good <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious though like how low it would hang. How low will it go? Just watch out your head. It's like limbo. Watch out my head. Yeah. It's, are you English speaking good? <laughs> watch out your head. No, oh, it wouldn't actually even hang that much lower. No, not really. Huh. Yeah. Do you think maybe they would benefit more from this one? That one's 70 watt and the other one is definitely uh, way more. It almost fit right on those hooks. I'd have to move the hooks a little bit. Hey, it's possible. We might have to try it. Plausible. So, you guys, I'll link this unboxing for you. Really like this brand. I have another one up here of the same bulb. It's just kind of hard to tell right now because it's on. So, 
it's very bright but it gives a little bit of light to this corner here just kind of helps illuminate things even though the mars hydro is enough to illuminate like five rooms worth of plants it's a really aggressive light and the mars hydro people keep harassing me to like do a video review and i'm like first of all listen i've mentioned your light a million times over the last like year and a half in my videos as well as i don't think you want me to because like i can't actually recommend anybody buy this for house plants yeah. it's not made for house plants it's a company that mostly makes grow lights for growing cannabis. Mm -hmm. And I guess they just decided that they wanted to start trying to market them to houseplant people because there was such like a, a huge surge in like the houseplant market during the pandemic that I think that all these companies were just honestly trying to get on board with trying to sell plant products and be like, hey, yeah, no, you could use it for your plants. It's not going to burn them all to death. It's fine. Just keep it seven feet away. Like, who has room <laughs> to keep the, the light that far away to have to hang it on the ceiling? My favorite is when they want to send me those big grow tents, and I'm like, yeah, I don't have room for that. So then they send me other options of crap that's just as big, and I'm like, I don't have room for that I either. I don't have room for that. But will it fit in my Mazda? This one company keeps trying to send me, like, straight-up furniture. I'm like, where do you want me to put it? <laughs> I don't know, that's my rant about how annoying uh, companies can be sometimes. I'm going to stop rambling and go take care of my plants. <laughs> this one might actually work better. This one's not as strong. Are you still recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm rambling. I'll probably cut most of it out. It's okay. fine. So, <laughs> David just left. And I'm still just getting a bunch of stuff done here. So, this is plexiglass. And I think where the light is to the top of the plants is about like nine inches so hopefully that's gonna be better than it was before i can never find more of these little magnet planters but they're so cute aren't they anyway just wanted to show you that so i'm just in the process of cleaning up around here and you take these hoyas out of the corner and spray them as well i've got the crinkle eight back here and then my obovada over here as well i'm just trying to decide if i want to use the sacred elements on my Hoyas or if I want to use the Captain Jacks. I don't know. I might hit him with Captain Jacks really quick, but still use like the soil stuff. I don't know. Cause I'm just like, the thrips don't actually really like Hoyas that much. They're more into leafy foliage plants like this Pothos and this Monstera and all these dead hanging plants here that I don't want to talk about. <laughs> It's fine. Everything is fine. It's a great view. And I just got a package in the mail. I ordered this off of Etsy. I've ordered plants from her before. I don't remember the name of the shop, but I ordered a plant that didn't come to me. That's what it was. I ordered it for my secret Santa and had it shipped directly to her. And that was a great experience. That plant came great. I ordered the Hoya fungi for, um, a friend of mine and sent it straight to her. So I never actually like got a package from this particular seller. So it came from Arizona. I'm pretty sure I paid for a heat pack, but the box feels cold. So we'll see how it looks. It's a pretty big box. This was a pre-sale Hoya. So I bought this like probably like almost a month ago and she finally sent it. So I guess they were rooting. This is a wishlist Hoya as well. I would have done a separate video, honestly, but you guys have been watching me unbox so many Hoya <laughs> on my channel that I figured I would just throw it into this vlog really quick since I'm vlogging today and we're doing Hoya plant chores today. So I might sit and repot a few with you guys. And then I'm going to spray them all. Okay. Thank you for shopping with us. This is what it looks like. Got the insulated stuff, which is good. I definitely save these and reuse them. Oh, right. I ordered more than one plant. I just forgot because she waited to ship them together. <laughs> so I was like, wait, there's two plants in here. I ordered one Hoya. The other one's not a Hoya, but you'll see. This one is 
the other plant. So it's not a Hoya, it's a Dishidia, Dishidia, Dishidia. Um, which are really similar to Hoyas. I think that's why I like them. Their care is the same. The thing that I have learned about this particular genus, though, they do not like to be repotted. Like, they're probably going to throw a fit if you repot them. So, like, if you don't have to, don't do it. Like, I rescued one from Lowe's a while back. You guys would have watched, and I brought it home and salvaged bits of it and repotted it and it just ended up dying and I couldn't figure out why and then I found out that they're really hard to root and it wasn't really a happy plant to begin with so okay this is a lot smaller than I thought it was like a lot smaller but it's the watermelon dishidia not looking great and it's in perlite so I honestly don't even know if it's rooted. I'm kind of disappointed by how small it is and that the leaves aren't really all that like great looking. I hate that with Etsy where like I want to know I when I list on Etsy I'll put like A, B, C, D so that like you can actually pick this that very specific plant like whichever cutting you want I let you pick it. If you don't care you just pick whatever. But I, um, I like to let people, like, I just, people want to know what they're getting. I swear, if this isn't rooted, okay. It's rooted. Thank God, at least it's rooted. But, like, what is this even? That's, like, one little dinky strand with, like, sad leaves. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's not looking super happy and the leaves are cold, but this is the Hoya Dakie. Dakie? I don't know, I'll put the name of it on the screen. I like the weird shape of the leaves. They're supposed to be kind of like oblong, heart shaped. So this should be rooted because I pre sale bought it and assumed that it was pre sale because she was rooting them. So this better be rooted or I'm going to be really annoyed. Yes, it's rooted. I'm actually just going to go toss this in the bathroom with the rest of my Hoyas and spray it down with the rest of them. This is super cute. I'm not mad about it. This is sad. I've been wanting this one for a long time and I just never see them. So I was like, oh, let me snag it. It's got like maybe like four leaves that aren't sad. But at least this one came right. That's... That's what matters, right? Super cute. Love the veining on these leaves. Looks nice and healthy. Was a good price. I just don't remember what it was. So I'm going to have to look it up and put it on the screen for you guys. Yeah, that's that. I'm going to go put these in the bathroom so that I can uh, hit them with the Captain Jack. I'm going to go um, try and set you guys up over there or something, and then we'll do a little bit of repotting before we hit him with the Captain Jacks. That's my story. All right, so this is definitely, like, way too bright. But... Way too bright, and the background is a mess. I'm in the process of cleaning, so just kind of, like, ignore the pile. I really genuinely apologize for that, but we do have a cute little... Mike in here. This Mars Hydro is just very, very bright. I'm going to try to speak loudly <laughs> so you can hear me because I'm literally like wedged between my bed and my dresser. This is where I usually have some propagation <laughs> boxes going on, but you're on my Hoya shelf and I've got a bunch of Hoyas here that need to be repotted. So I have my repotting mat. I have my Della Tanks soil mix. I mean, let's just get to it, right? So First thing I'm gonna do my variegated way to get way a little, little. better get a way to First I'm gonna do my variegated way First I'm gonna do my variegated way to because I have three of them. And like one little strand in here that I rescued. So this one's actually two plants together that I had that I potted together. Then I got these two more recently. 
I bought this one at Rose Hill and then I went back and she gave me this one because it wasn't doing well and I was like let me just rescue it because it's just the one strand so I'm gonna get all these out of here god it's so dry and check out how they're doing little baby roots this one has better roots for sure I just figured I might as well get in here and repot some of these while we're here before I treat them and put them back, consolidate some. This one has good roots. And then last but not least, this one I know is in the good soil at least, so I don't have to go crazy. I do like the Dilla Tanks for my Hoyas because it's nice and chunky. And that's a good little root ball there so this one you can tell has been under the mars hydro because it's stressed it's so bright you probably can't even see it compared to the not as stressed one i think they should all fit back into this container this is a chunkier mix so if you are an overwaterer, this is definitely a good soil mix for you to use for all your house plants I wouldn't use it for some of my thirstier plants, but for Hoyas, I like this because they do like to dry out. Being a little sloppy about it, I'm not going to lie, I just am really tired and I just want to get this done. I've had really bad anxiety since I woke up this morning because I had a weird dream about my ex that... Um, made me worried about him and then I got mad because I don't want to be worried because I don't actually like him but it's hard to just like shut it off when you loved somebody for so long so like it's conflicting and it's frustrating <laughs> it makes me mad because I'm I want to hate him so badly for everything that he did to me but you know there's part of you that still cares and worries and it's aggravating because I don't want to I don't want to care I don't want to worry it's not my it's not my problem it's not my place like none of it should be of any concern to me but for some reason that man just won't leave my brain and it drives me crazy. I mean, it's hard when, you know, you're still trying to process trauma. So it's not like I'm not thinking about him and like missing him or pining after anything. If anything, I'm just grateful that I'm finally able to see things clearly now. But it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot to process. So, ooh. That's my doorbell. I don't know who that is. Nice, big, full basket. Let me see if anybody texted me. No. No one texted me, so I'm not expecting anyone at the door. Therefore, I'm not going to answer it. It might just be a package for my mom. But yeah, here it is all in one pot. So you can see the side that's more sun stressed compared to the side that's not. I'm just going to stick it right back into this urban jungle pot and call it a day cute all right next that we need to combine is my hoya caudata sumatra i just picked this one up recently at paul's and sandy's and then this one i actually grew from like a one or two leaf cutting but it's not doing well it's been like getting fried to death under the mars hydro like these ones are fine they're sun stressed that's what they look like sun stressed and this is what they look like not sun stressed same plant but I want to put this vine into this pot. Um, I am going to take this out just to give it not all new soil, but some at least. Because this is from Emma's, I think, maybe. So it's not in like bad soil. This is the brightest light ever. Oh, so I looked it up and this Mars Hydro light is 140 watts compared to the Sansi is 70 watts. So I'm gonna, I lowered the shelf, or David lowered the shelf, so we're gonna give that 
a chance to see if that's better and if not then we're probably just going to replace it next time he's here with the Sansi because it's half the strength so it should still be sun stressing some of the ones because my whole experiment with this Mars Hydro I knew it was really strong and I put my Hoyas here specifically for that reason to see the sun stressing it was kind of an experiment to see if I could sun stress my Hoyas with this light and um I have as you could see <laughs> the difference in these two it's proven to be just like a little bit too too strong and I don't think that that's gonna work out here for us anymore so that is that just another random vine in there I might let this one trail or I might let it um climb on one of my very many trellises that I now have thank you to all the wonderful companies that I've worked with and ones that I've purchased myself and reviewed for you guys here on this channel I really love the clear ones from vined up and the new ones that David and I just opened up today were pretty cool so maybe one of these some of these anyway that I'm repotting now and we're gonna reorganize and then I'll give you guys a quick little tour of my Hoya shelves I have a whole nother box of Hoyas though like I said so <laughs> it's fine everything is fine okay next Hoya that we have to consolidate is my Hoya Sigillatus got this one at Rose Hill as well but I've also been rooting and growing a cutting in here next to my variegated Hushkaliana that's probably just looks white right now in this bright ass light but it's fine y'all just get to see what my skin really looks like everyone's always like your skin looks so good and I'm like mm, mm, does it though or is it just good lighting and like my foundation because I really love my foundation it makes me look photoshopped in real life and it's all natural so it's not clogging my pores because I've struggled with acne since like 2018. My skin got really bad in 2018 and I had to do a whole bunch of things in my diet and my lifestyle to fix it. Um, but I'm, it's fine now. I mean, I still get like, you can still see some of these breakouts here, but this is just my skin. I don't have any makeup on and do my hair today. This is just me, you guys, in the most unflattering light possible with, like, the worst background in the history of my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, that's fine. This is going to be fun to separate from the other one. This is why people don't like to root in moss. <laughs> just don't root two different plants up in the moss and you'll be fine. Because I don't mind if there's still a little bit of moss stuck to my roots, to be honest with you. This I also grew from like two little baby leaves, so that weren't rooted. A lot of these Hoyas I've bought as unrooted little baby cuttings. This one has a good amount of roots. I'm not going to go crazy taking all of the moss off the roots. It doesn't really matter that much. Pop these together. So I did mention in a video recently too that I wanted to start doing like a repot with me and chatting about mental health, physical health, relationships, psychology, nutrition, well like just health and wellness in general. Um, if you guys want to know how I cleared my skin, if you want to know my skincare routine, if you want to know what I eat. As a vegan who also lifts weights and tries to gain muscle because that's a whole journey that I'm restarting too because with the pandemic and everything I just I wasn't going to the gym I lost my motivation to work out because I was depressed and I put on some weight and that's fine it's not that serious at first I actually lost weight during the pandemic and because I was depressed and then I went into that um period of depression where you just still, like want to eat cookies like I had no appetite for anything but like cookies 
<laughs> so this body was made by cookies but I'm trying to get my strength back really and be able to like lift as heavy as I was before and get back into the groove of doing that because that is like my therapy so it's really important to me to make sure that I'm doing that regularly all right so here's the Sigillatus you can tell which one was sun stressed versus which wasn't so I guess this is the conclusion to my Mars Hydro experiment as well. <laughs> if you want to sun stress your Hoyas, just put them in really, really ridiculously bright light. Next, I have this Hoya Chicken Farm. That's, I don't like the way it's sun stressing. So I want to take it out from under here and have it lower. It needs to be cleaned as well. Its leaves are like dust magnets. But this is just in moss, and it's been in moss for a while, and it should be rooted by now so I want to get it into soil so it stops drying out so quickly in the moss okay so there's moss on top but there's cocoa coir chunks underneath oh yeah that's rooted definitely rooted so I'm probably gonna stick it back in the same container love this plant don't love the way it looks sun stressed though I prefer it when it's a darker green it is getting blushed though so but I just I like the coloring and the silvery splashing on it when it's not sun stressed because it starts to turn kind of pink the splashing with the sun stress so not my favorite some definitely sun stress nicer than others and some of them just kind of bleach but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's damaging the plant like the leaves can be fine and the they just get lighter and I don't always necessarily love the look of that my leg is going numb it's fine chicken farm freshly repotted it's sort of staying up on its own that's fine so just gonna put you over here um and for plants that sun stress pretty cool I wanted to show you guys this one because <laughs> it's blocking that one so it's like not <laughs> sun stressed right here. So you can see the difference. This is the Hoya Isensis. And I'm pretty sure there's dirt on the bottom here, but there's moss on the top. So I just wanted to give it all dirt, some fresh soil. I like to give the soil on the bottom so that the roots can grow into the soil, but keep the moss at the top to help lock in the moisture. So I just wanted to get that out out of there and into all soil. So I've been using perlite more than the moss lately and I think I might prefer it. It's less messy too when you go to like take it out. Like perlite's messy but you can at least like get all the perlite off fairly easily. So you're not left with a ball of moss trying to figure out what's root and what's moss. So I just kind of like just gently go through and rub it and that kind of helps get all the stuff off. I'm like squinting because the light is so bright. I probably look like trash. I'll probably end up deleting all of this footage. If not, then you'll know. You'll be watching it right now. I absolutely love this plant. Grew this from the one leaf that was unrooted. So it's always satisfying. I kind of have my tricks to getting them to root and grow fairly quickly. I've been teasing if you guys are interested in that. Um, I'll definitely do a video about it. It's on my list. I have a long list of videos that I like want to do, but then when it comes time to film, I just haven't been feeling great lately and I, I try to go for like the easiest thing for myself possible. So up in some nice fresh dirt, looking good. Okay, so last one I have here and then I mean like it's not the last one. I have two terrariums like this full of some that could probably be repotted like this rotunda flora 
that just has like an insane amount of roots here. I don't even know if you could see it. And then I have a whole nother one here. These are all propagations in either moss or perlite, mostly moss, because I just recently started switching over to perlite. So there's a handful of these that could definitely use repotting. They definitely need to be cleaned at the very least. So they're going to come out and get cleaned. Yeah, we need to do thrip, thrip control for sure, all the plants. But the last one that I want to repot here with you guys, at least before I tackle those, is the Hoya Nicotine. So I think it's a Nic Nicholsonier crossed with Christine or something like that. I think it's a Coco Ranch hybrid. I'm not exactly sure. This was sent to me as like a gift cutting. Um, and so far it's grown this leaf here in my care at the top. It was unrooted. And then under here, I just have the regular green Hushkuliana. I think I'll pot it up with the variegated one. Why not? So just wanted to get this out of its container because it's kind of gross. The moss is like turning green. Some of them, the moss is literally like growing, like the moss is growing back. It's coming alive. So that's why I'm like, what are you doing? So I think I'm just going to put it in a little um, four inch, not a four inch, two, two and a half. Yeah, two and a half inch that had a succulent in it that died. What else is new? I don't even buy succulents from Home Depot anymore because they all look like they're already dead. And I don't ever find any of the good ones that I'm actually looking for, so... No point, plus I work with the next gardener and they tend to send me some cute succulents. They sent me a really cute one recently that like trails. I don't actually know what kind of plant it is, like what kind of succulent it is, but it's really stinking cute, you guys. Normally I'll do like arrangements with the stuff that they send me and like give them as gifts, but I like this one so much for myself that I kept it. <laughs> so, but yeah, I do work with them and they send me soil. They just sent me some pots that I opened up this morning that are cute and some top dressing so I know you guys aren't really into succulents but that's how I got started with this whole houseplant thing and I think that's why I like Hoyas so much because they are more succulent like and they can handle a little bit more neglect I like that bright light and everything so here is the Hoya Nicotine I love the cute little subtle veining on these leaves so a cute little cute little pot that's that and then i'm going to take these two hushkulianas the regular green one i think i call it yellow though because i think the flowers are yellow and then uh the variegated one that just looks white from here because the, the light is so bright that you can't even see it ow 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 I'm never filming here again. That's gonna leave a mark. Um, it's fine. Decent root system on both of these. Just gonna pot them up. I put them back to back. They're so cute. Sometimes I like to mix two plants together like this because they just... Um, they just look so stinking cute. I put them in one of these, like, little, little ones, because they do like to be root-bound. Yeah. So I did mention this in another video, but I'll mention it again since we're talking about Hoyas. Hoyas like to be, not necessarily like to be root-bound. No plant really specifically likes to be root-bound, but they like to be filled up in their pot. Like, their roots like to fill up in the pot and they won't decline being in a pot that's full of roots like other plants will. I don't really even like using the term root bound because no plant wants to be root bound because to be root bound usually means that it's just too much and that's not necessarily the case for Hoyas. They just like to be fully rooted. So before they'll start 
really growing, taking off for you, or blooming for you, they like to be nicely rooted. Is that always the case? No. It depends on the cutting that you have and what plant it came from a lot of the times, too. Like, whether or not it blooms, sometimes you get lucky and you get a cutting that already has a peduncle on it, so you just get literally you just get lucky people ask me all the time how to get your hoya to bloom i have a video about it where i'm giving you tips on how to really mostly just keep your hoyas happy enough so that they can bloom but a lot of it comes down to like the specific variety of hoya some are just easy bloomers compared to others because if you're doing all the things you're fertilizing you're taking care of them giving them lots of bright light and stuff like that, and they're still not blooming. And you're doing all the other things I said in the video, like trimming back vines that are inactive and things like that to encourage new growth from different places, and they're still not blooming, then a lot of the times it's just, it has nothing to do with you. Like, nothing to do with you at all. It's just the plant and you have to be patient. And if you want a Hoya that's gonna bloom for you, then you just kinda gotta get one that's a like an avid bloomer, if that makes sense. A prolific bloomer, prolific bloomer, whatever word you want to use. So ones that I have that bloom a lot are like the Bertoniae, the Species Affinity Bertoniae, also known as Bilibata or DS70. This is so stinking cute, you guys. Is that not like the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Stuff like that, those bloom really easy. Lacanosas bloom really easy. Um, Carnosas take a little while. If you get lucky, you can get one that already has some peduncles on it. But for those, you kind of have to have a more mature plant with a Carnosa to get it to bloom. Carnosa blooms aren't that exciting anyway. My Callistophylla blooms pretty easily too. So I think it really depends on the plant if I'm being honest and not always necessarily the care that you're giving it there's definitely a lot of really good Hoya care information in that video it's my most popular video on my whole entire channel so I definitely recommend checking it out if you're interested in that I'm just organizing all my nursery containers it's like a jigsaw puzzle <laughs> I get the square ones too yeah there's definitely a lot of really good Hoya care tips in that video but again there's no like secret to getting your Hoyas to bloom. So there is a secret to getting them to root really quickly and easily though. And my main secret to that honestly is keeping it in a closed container, whether that be one of my Starbucks cups here that I have, that I usually have a lid on, a terrarium like this that has, I these at Home Depot a while back, really 20, 25 bucks each. I wish I'd bought more um, or just a plastic bag. I just I have some here in plastic bags, like literally anything that will keep the moisture and the humidity in is going to help them root up a lot faster. So, and grow, mine grow pretty quickly in here. Like I just picked up a little baby Hoya Serpens not long ago and it's growing. It's already growing in here. So I'm surprised. Oh, it's in here. I just I just bought this one and it's already got two little two little baby leaves <laughs> just because it's in this extra humid situation here so I am going to go clean up my mess and spray all my Hoyas down with the Captain Jacks you guys have seen a video of how I do that already I'll leave that for you linked here I think here and um you can check that out so I don't repeat myself and then I will come back and show you how this is set up it might be tomorrow but I will show you how everything looks when we're done here so I will see you all later this is a good look <laughs> so it's been several hours later and I literally took every single Hoya out of my two terrariums that I showed you and repotted them all into soil. And then I just sprayed them all down with Captain Jack's. And then I gave them all some water with my Sacred Elements Soil Tonic, I think it's called. So I'm gonna turn around and show you what I got going on here. I'm really tired and I'm sweating, but it's fine. Everything is fine. So 
it's a really muddy mess because I watered everything and the Dela tanks tends to run out really dirty like this. I think it might be the compost that's in there or charcoal maybe. I'm not exactly sure. But um, just a quick little overview. I literally repotted like all of these little ones. You saw me repot that one. I just, I, I gave them all, like all of them, all new pots, except for, you know, the ones that were already in soil. So then what I'm going to do next, I watered all of my like cacti and stuff over here too. What I'm going to do next is take the ones that I still have rooting in moss out of the propagation container and put some of those in the terrarium. So... Hopefully we have enough room for everything, but it's easy to sit and dry for a while while I clean everything else up. And then hopefully I'll show you a finished product, but probably not until tomorrow because it's dark now and the lighting is just like really terrible with just the Mars Hydro. And I don't know if I'm even going to get to it all today. So I just wanted to give you a quick little update before I uh, start cleaning like a crazy lady and then I'm gonna need to eat some dinner so Welcome back. So clearly I'm not home anymore and I did leave you guys with a quick little overview of what my Hoya shelves look like thanks to you. You didn't even see, did I show you what they look like, the finished product? No. I'll have to show you. This it looks crap. good. I didn't end up giving y'all a tour so we'll do that in a separate video. I'll show you every single Hoya that's over there, the name of it, whatever you want to know, how I propagate them, the whole the whole spiel, right? The whole spiel. Spiel? It's what does that even mean? Spiel is like the, like it's, let me give you the spiel. So you guys would have seen where I put like my Totoro trellis and all of that. Uh, do you want to show them the Hoya behind us really quickly? Where, where you put, where, the, where you, yeah. I put that one. So he put his little avatar one while well, I put it here with this Hoya Packy play to try and like hold it up a little. Mm -hmm. Put another one over there in your, the neon pothos that's not serving a purpose aside from it just looks cool and i just wanted to conclude this vlog so i hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me mostly him a little bit in the beginning there too for the day taking care of all my hoyas it took me forever i was literally sweating <laughs> by the end of the day i was like a mess i mean i was a mess the whole time but like by the end of the day my hair was in a bun just concluding this video if you guys enjoyed it and you want to do more plant care vlogs with me, give it a thumbs up. You were waiting. <laughs> don't waiting. forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. <laughs> there's a join button. If you don't see it, there's a link in the description. If you want to be part of my membership program, I just started our members only group chat on Instagram, which is really exciting. So mm -hmm. if you want to be part of that and be able to make some friends, connect with the rest of the plant fam, talk to me, hang out, whatever, that's the place to do it. So come on over, <laughs> come over, we're going to get the tree. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think that anybody even understood those references. Am I the only one who watched those old Probably. YouTube videos or am I just old? I was around when YouTube started. Finishing you know? up. <laughs> Go follow him. Yeah, yeah. Um, he posts videos sometimes. sometimes. And on. he's writing another book. Check out his book. The link is in the description box. Always, always, always. And if you are reading it, 
Let us know how you like it. Don't forget to leave a review on Amazon when Please. you're done. Yeah, that's and reach important. out to him, too. Shoot him a DM. Let him know I love what you thought. He loves that. So. read the book and, and, have, and just, yeah. Yeah. yeah I love thoughts good. on it. Good feedback and stuff is always sure. good. So, yeah. We're going to go. We're oh going to go film <laughs> some more plant Can't chopping. <laughs> Don't give it away. You guys will see it <laughs> soon. And um, yeah, I love you, fam. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.